please say and spell both your first and your last name for the record and for the jury. Linda, L-I-N-D-A, Rudolph, R-U-D-O-L-P-H. All right, thank you very much. You may inquire, Mr. Shiner. Thank you, Judge. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, where, where do you live, Ms. Rudolph? 550 Teak Drive, Lake Park, Florida. Okay, and uh, how long have you been living there approximately? 27 years. And um, are you married? I'm a widow right now. Okay, and when, when did that happen? When did your husband pass? He passed away in 2017. Yeah. Uh, and, and just briefly, what happened to him? Briefly. My husband was working. You got to talk in the mic. It's hard to hear you. My husband, Daryl Sr., was working, and he had got shot, as they said, accidentally at his workplace. All right. After that, did, did that kind of change how you felt about security? Yes. I was so, uh, just for safety, I just went and secured my whole house with um, nine cameras and one I had a, a door ring bell. So I had 10 in all. And did your husband's death uh, affect you? Yes, it did. Are you able to sleep even today? Uh, no, I haven't. All right. Do um, you have any children? I have three children. Is uh is Travis your youngest son? Yes. How old is Travis? Twenty seven. And do you have any uh other children? I have my son Daryl Rudolph Junior and I have my daughter Tierney Purnell. Okay, how old is uh Holman? How old is uh Daryl Rudolph? Daryl Rudolph is thirty. Okay. Uh and how about uh, maybe 31. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you close with Daryl? Yes. And does he help take care of you? Yes. Um, does he help financially also with bills? Yes. How about Travis? When uh, Was he there the whole time, or was he missing from your home in a couple for a few years? He was going away to college, and then he went to the NFL. And then when he came, he got towards ACL, he came back home. And then he was living at my home. Okay. Judge, is there, is there, that's kind of loud, isn't it? Is there a way to, what? that's kind of loud, that, that fan. Okay. It's hard for me to hear her, maybe. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, and Tierney, how old is she? Approximately. Tierney is 37. All right, now you're a grandma also from some of her children? Yes, I have, well, I had two grandchildren, one deceased and... Sorry about that. How about uh, Daryl? Does he have any children? No. And how about Travis? No. All right, you said Travis went away for college? Yes. Where, where did Travis, where did he grow up? What area? He grew up in Lake Park um, at my home that I'm recently living in now. And was that with, uh, with Daryl and With Terry? my husband, um, Daryl Sr., and... Daryl Jr. and Tierney, uh, and she got married, and then she moved on her own. All right. This Daryl, um, is he also known by another name? DJ. Now, when when Travis, um, well, where did Travis go to school? What area? He went to elementary, North Palm Elementary. Then he went to the middle school of Jupiter Middle, and then the high school, Carney Newman, and then he went to Florida State. And was he a, a good student? He was a... A B honor roll student. How about Daryl? Daryl was also, uh, I say, a B average student. All right. Did he go to school also in Palm Beach County, Daryl? Yes, he went to Palm Beach Garden. Then he went to Palm Beach State and studied agriculture and farming. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So after after your husband's death, you said you 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 bought some cameras. Yes, I had ended up having six cameras at the time of the incident, and then afterwards I ended up getting three more flood uh, ring cameras. All right, but let, let's go back to April 7th of 2021. Do you know what kind of cameras you had that day? Yes, I had the uh, night owl. I had six of them, and also had the ring camera. All right, let, let, let's talk about the night owl camera cameras. Where, where were they? I had... Uh, Three in the front, and then I had one on the east side, and then I had also one on the west side. 
about facing the backyard and in the backyard? Yes, I had one in the backyard as well. Does Does Daryl or DJ have uh, animals in your backyard? <laughs> yes, um, my son he has chickens, he has a pig, he had ducks. He he just a animal person. He had even some dragon lizard that he also have. Dragon lizard. Well, that's what I call it. It looked like a, just a lizard, alligator to me, but it's... How, how big is it? Uh, I don't really oh, so bother with it, but it's about, about this long. Like a foot or a little over a foot? Yes. Uh, and do y'all have property in Alabama with horses and a farm? Yes, my husband um, have like over like 50 acres over in Alabama. Is that where Daryl uh, actually wants to be? Yes. He's helping you? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you currently working? No. Were you working back in April uh, 7th of 2021? I was. Uh, then about 2018, I stopped working. 2018 you stopped working? Yes. How come? Because I had a lot going on. Um, with, I just had a lot going on with my husband, Del. Oh. And um, I just couldn't do it at the present time. What what kind of work did you used to do before he passed? I was an office assistant at the Healy Center, and also worked at the hospital. Also, as an office assistant. What What's the Healy Center? Healy Center is a nursing home. Okay, and where what hospital did you work at? Uh, it used to be called Columbia, and now it's Palm West right now. All right, you did that for many years. Yes, and also worked at the bank for over twenty years, and then I changed my career field and got into uh, the medical part uh, as an office assistant receptionist. And then after your husband passed, you weren't able to, to do that anymore? No. Okay. All right, so let's, let's go back to April 7th of 2021. You told us where the cameras were. Where, where was the recording device? It, it was inside my living room. Uh, I had like a, a monitor that was facing up on top of the wall. Uh, Why did you have a monitor on the wall? So I can see who's coming in and um, out. Did, did you ever have that before your husband passed away? No. So why why did you put it up after? I mean, why why did you need that? Because I I'm a widow and I was afraid that once my son Daryl Junior DJ uh, leave, that I want to make sure I had security because I I was really by myself. And you could see pretty much all angles outside? Yes. And this is the night owl cameras? Yes. How did, did you record those cameras, or did you believe you were recording them? They was being recorded. Uh, I called the night owl because one time I had a problem. And with the night owl, you actually monitor your own cameras. And the gentleman told me as long as I had it on red, it's being recorded. So at the present time, I for sure that it was being recorded. Because it was on red. Did you have any kind of app on your phone too? Yes, I had an app on my phone uh, with the ring as well as the night owl. All right, we'll talk about the ring in a minute, but I'm talking about the night owl. Did you have, Back in April of 2021, did you have an app on your phone for that? Yes, I did. And were you able to, what, what, what would that app do? What could you, what could you do with it? Uh, you can see each camera. Like I had six cameras, and you can see each one of them. And you can see uh, from all around my house. And how about at night? Were you able to see at night? Yes. You know if those cameras were motion activated or are they working all the time? They was mo motion activated. They was working all the time. So, well, motion activated means it, it works when... As, as someone walked by, you can see them moving. All right. Was it on if nobody was walking by? Could you still see outside? Yes. Oh, you could. Yes. 24-7? Yes. Did you ever, and let's go back to April of 2021, before that date, did you ever have to look at the videos to see anything on there to see if it was being recorded? Yes. Uh, I had a problem one day, and I called the night owl because I didn't think it was working. And then one of the customer service rep walked me through it and told me that as long as it's on red, it's being recorded. So I never had to uh, bother with it. But did you ever go back, and, and I'm not talking today, let's go April, because you don't have your system today, right? The police took it? The police took it. 
All right, but let's go back before the police took it. Will you, did you ever go back before April of 2021 and have to find a video from a day before, a week before, a year before? Did you ever do anything like that? I have done it. And were you able to find the videos? Yes. All right. Do you, did, who controlled whether it was being recorded or not? Yeah, you monitored yourself. That so that was a system that you uh, update and monitor everything. It's not like that you was paying for a service once you bought the cameras. It's, it's your responsibility to activate it and look at it, see if it's being recorded. And then if you have any questions, you can call them. They had a, a number where you can call them. Well, but who was responsible in your family? Were you the one? Was it DJ? Was it Travis? Well, I gave them all the password where it be all can look at it. But normally I had it on my phone. I don't know if uh, Travis or DJ downloaded it on their phone, but I did have it on my phone. Did you believe your recorder was working back on April of 2021? Yes. Because there was testimony it was only working a couple of days every month. Do you know anything about that? No. It was only set sporadically, a day here, a day there. No. It was when I called, they told me all I had to do is make sure that the North is recording is on red. And um, that says that's being recorded. And that day, I know it was being recorded because on my phone, when I checked my ring, I also checked that one. It showed that they both was being recorded. All right. So you have no idea why the police were unable to get the recordings? No. The only thing I can think of is when they took it out, they probably, um, you know, because it's like a, a DVR, a VCR, rather, and I guess when they stashed it out, they could have had erased it. All right. but did you have anything to do with erasing any film? No. Anyone in your family did? No. All right. Let, let's go back to April 7th, 2021. Do you remember what you did that day? Yes. I went to my sister house for Bible study. And um, she lived not the address, but what city? She lived in Rivera Beach. And about how far from your home? I say about, if it's a good time, about 15 minutes. All right. And you, how'd you get there? I drove. And there was a, what kind of car do you have? An Lexus. And where do you normally park? Uh, I normally park in my driveway, but uh, my sister's house I park uh, in her side block. But, but in your home, you park in your driveway? Yes. Where, do, where does uh, Travis normally park? He usually park in the front on the side of the house, and then Daryl Jr., which is DJ Park, right behind him. Okay. Th that day in April 7th, before you left home, um, did you see anything or notice anything wrong? No. <clears throat> do, do you know Dominique Jones? Yes. And... I'm not asking you today. I'm asking you go back to April 6th or 5th or 4th. What was your relationship with Dominique Jones? Dominique was my son's girlfriend. And um, I had a relationship with her. Like I treated her like she was my own daughter. Okay. Were you very close with her or medium? Or how would you characterize it? I say just like you treat your own child. Like, and I really... Had a lot of love for her. Were you ever involved in Travis's and Dominique's relationship before this incident happened? No, I just talked to her like, you know, a daughter and talked to my son as well. But did either one ever confide in you, hey, Travis hasn't seen me in 30 days or I'm upset with him because he's in Miami. You know anything about that or? No. All right. So day to day you weren't totally involved or really involved in their relationship? No. <clears throat> Do you remember what time you left your home that day on April 7th? Well, we usually have Bible study at 7, so I probably got to my sister's house maybe about a quarter to 7. Okay, and that's p.m., obviously. Correct. And when you when you get there, um, what, what do you do? When I get to my sister's house, we had Bible study. Immediately after Bible study, um, we was watching a movie, and then I got a call for Dominique, she was very hostile and irate, and she said, Ma, you better come get your son, Travis, because I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my brothers and his friends to come fuck him up and kill him. Have but I didn't think that she was going to put a hit on him. I 
the phone dropped or she hung up the phone, so I had texted her. Let me slow you down. When you get that call from her, do you have any idea what was going on? No, because she was screaming and hollering, and, and, and I couldn't really understand her, but that's when I texted her. Okay. Did you try calling her back? No, I didn't call her. I just texted her. What would you text her? I said, Dominique, I don't know what's going on with you and Travis. I said, but you both are grown. I say, if you all not getting along, you need to move on. I say, I love you like my own daughter. I don't teach my son to be disrespectful. I say, I will talk to Travis, and I will let you calm down, and I will call you later. And then she texts me back and say, he has the wrong one. That's all I'm going to say. He has the wrong one? Yes. Uh, how were you feeling with, when you heard all these uh, threats and uh, he has the wrong one? Actually, I I didn't know what to think because I never thought that she would actually put a hit on my son, and I didn't know she was married. And um, I actually thought that she was just born off steam. I didn't have, no, have an idea she was going to. Were you concerned? I was concerned, so I told my sister that I was going to leave, and I left for probably about almost 1045, close to 11 o'clock. Right. And then when I get home, I... I drew my um, video cameras, and I noticed that she was the one that was beating on Travis and busting them all in the head. So as I was viewing the cameras, my son Travis yeah, let me, was... Let me slow you down. What, what camera were you viewing? I was viewing the ring camera. Did you, did you see any other cameras that night? Uh, actually, I just looked at the ring camera because that's the normally one that I normally look at. The night eye camera, I, I, it's a monitor that I just... Look up in my house, but I also can look on the phone as well. So I had them both downloaded, but I actually looked at the ring camera. All right, so you're looking at the ring camera. When did you get that ring camera? Do you remember? Uh, Approximately, not the exact Well, time. my husband passed, so in 2017. It's probably was like either late 2017, 18. And you have that monitor, you could you pay a service and you have it on your Yes, phone? yes. All right, so <clears throat> what, what did you see? You, you, when you got home, you looked at the ring camera down, on your phone? Correct. What did you see? I seen that Travis and Dominique was getting into an argument, and uh, as Travis was going in the house, he was trying to tell his brother to open up the door, and as he was uh, going into the house, uh, she just started beating them all in the head. So at that time, I had went inside the room and Travis was laying in his bed in his pajamas looking at TV. Let me slow you down. Did you ever see Dominique and Travis ever get into it like this? Um, Valentine's Day, I actually didn't see it, but I seen it on my camera. And I told her that she cannot be bringing nothing like that to my home. That's not good. Similar type behavior? Yes. Violence? Yes. See Travis do anything to her back in uh, Valentine's Day? No. Because I... I really wasn't there. I just, when I seen the camera, that's when I seen what was going on. All right. So that was the first sign something was going on? Yes. And that was Valentine's Day of 2021? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So you, where, where do you look at this video? In your car? Uh, on, on no, actually, I have my, my, my cell phone, so I look at it on my phone, or I can look at it on my TV. All right, but where are you when you're looking at it? You're in the house? You're I was in the house. All right. After you look at that, what do you do? I had went into Travis' room to find out what actually went on. And when I went into Travis' room, he was laying in the bed with his pajama pants on looking at TV. Yeah. And um, DJ also was in there. And I was asking him, what, what, tell me what's going on with Dominique. She called my phone very hostile, irate, saying that she's going to have her brothers and his friends to come kill you. I said, what's going on, Travis? And as he was explaining, and DJ was trying to explain what happened, then we heard a bam, bam, bam. Let me stop it. Did you talk to your daughter Tierney at all before you heard that bam, bam, bam noise? No. All right. <clears throat> when you were talking to DJ and Travis, were they trying to calm you down and say they don't believe she's going to do anything? Yes, because we, we didn't, I actually didn't think she would actually do this. Do you know any of uh, Dominique Jones's family? I have met her mother and also met her brother. You know how many times you met the mother and brother before um, that night? One time at my daughter's birthday party, 
a Christmas party and my daughter a uh, receptions party. Did you know much about uh, the mother, Dominique's mom or brother? No, I just met her just through the, you know, Christmas and the other holidays that, you know, we had for my daughter's birthday. And you, and you mentioned you didn't know Dominique was married at the time? No, I definitely didn't know she was married. She would have never even came into my house if she would, I knew that. Did, did you have any uh, knowledge about, you said your son tore his ACL. Do you remember when that was, when uh, Travis did that? He was at the New York Giants, and um, he tore his ACL. And then he ended up going to Miami, and uh, <laughs> deja vu, the same thing. And did he have surgery? Yes. Do you remember how much before April of 2021? Uh, he had it repaired with the surgical uh, procedure. Uh, if you remember, if you don't, I can't remember, but I know it was during the same time. Uh, if he was out from um, Miami, he was getting rehab. And all right, was your son um, taking it serious that he wanted to get back into football? He wanted to get back. Was he working out every day? Yes. And do you know where he went to work out? He was working down in Miami. If, do you know Do you know any of Travis's friends uh, who may be in the NFL? Yes. And do some of them have very big contracts? Yes. Do you were if your son Travis had any firearms? Yes. All right. Um, do you remember if he got them there around the time after your, or his dad and your husband passed? Yes. <laughs> did, did you know what kind of firearms or no? I didn't know what kind, but I know after my husband passed, with security and safety, uh, he made sure that the house was secured. When he was home? When he was home. How about Daryl or DJ? Did he have any kind of firearms? No. When, when, when your son Travis would leave the home and, and go out with his friends or, or, or just go to practice, do you know if he carried a concealed firearm? If you know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, did you feel safer with Travis having guns in the house? I feel safe, yes. Okay. So you were about to tell us the, the door started banging. Uh, what time do you think this was about approximately on April 7th, 2021? It had to be close to 12 o'clock. It had to be close to 12 or maybe a little before 12. I'm, I'm not for sure because I wasn't looking at the time because at the present time, DJ Travis and I was speaking with each other. Okay. It is, did you get startled when, when the door banged like that? Yes. Did you know who it was? No. I actually thought that Dominique had done called the police at the time. So I actually didn't know who was knocking at the door, especially that time of night. Why, why did you think it was the police? Because... So like that made sense, possibly? It makes sense because she was already said that she was upset, saying that she was going to have my son, uh, Travis, I better come get him because I'm having my brothers and his friends to come kill Travis, and he got the wrong one. Okay. So you thought the police got involved somehow? Yes. All right. Was it the police? Repeat yourself. Was, that, was it the police who came to your home? No. After the door um, knocks or whatever fashion it happened, uh, tell us what happened then. What happened was my son, DJ, he went to the door. And he was already, you know, upset about what Dominique did. So with the cameras, it's like my cameras is right here. And when he went to the door. Let me, let me slow you down. So your cameras just set are right here. My, what, my cameras is. What room is it in? It's in the hallway. His is um, where is it they, facing? It's facing towards the kitchen. All right. How about if you're in the living room? Can you see it? Yes. If you're in the kitchen, can you see the screen? Yes. So when you say cameras, you mean the actual computer monitor? It was the monitor. All right. You have any cameras inside or just outside? Just on the outside, just the monitor on the inside. All right. So when you come out of Travis's room. If you look up, could you see the cameras, or, or can you see them if you go just come out normally? Or, or you have if to look up? you have to ask you, if you're coming out Travis' room and you're coming through the hallway, in order for you to see the monitor, you have to turn your head back to look at it. Okay. 
So you said DJ or Daryl, he, he goes first? Yeah, DJ went first. Would you see him once he leaves the room? or you No, leave Tra side? Travis and I were still in the room at the time. And what, what happens next? What do you hear? What do you see? What well, happens? what happened was I heard DJ telling them, this is my mom house. Please don't bring this to my mom house. And when I heard that, I immediately came outside. And when I came outside, I seen a prowl of four to five men out there. And I told them, I say, you all, please leave. I have cameras around my, all around my house. How are you I, saying it the way you are now or differently? I was saying it as speaking as I'm speaking now. Okay. Were, you, I, were, you, were you nervous? I was scared. I told them, I said, I was really in fear. Because when I came out, I told them, I said, I have cameras all around my house. I said, the police going to be coming. I said, y'all, please leave. I said, I have it on the video that Dominique was aggressive. I can show you the video. I say, but y'all need to leave. Then, the, did, did it, Hold on. Did anyone listen to you? No. One of the men that had the high top dreads came to me. He said, we want Travis, Ma. You need to go back in the house because we come to handle this. We come to handle this. Why Why'd you go outside? You because I heard my son saying that this is my mom's house. Y'all need to leave. Please leave. So me being a mother, I try to get him away from my house before the police or anyone come because I didn't want nobody to get hurt or anything. I tried to de-escalate it, and none of them was listening to me. I don't know if they was on drugs or I don't know. They just weren't listening. Did, did you recognize any of these men? I didn't know none of the men's. I think I, the one with the hoodie on, I couldn't tell who he was, but later on I found out that that was Dominique's brother. Okay. But at the time you didn't recognize any? I didn't know none of them. Uh, how did you feel when you were out there telling them these things? I felt very scared. I didn't know what to think. And then as soon as my son came out, as soon as Travis came out, the one with the shirt with the tattoos, Sucker punching me in the head. And all of a sudden, I seen a prowl of all of them jumping over Travis. And then my son, DJ, he jumped in to try to protect his brother. And I'm watching a prowl of them all over. And I'm saying, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all all men. Y'all need to leave. Please leave. I said, the police going to be coming. I had my phone. And you can see me just going in my phone, trying to open up the phone and my mind just went blank because I had a security code on my phone, so I couldn't even think of of the number because I was just so disbelieved that my son, they're going to kill my son right in front of my eyes. Both of my sons was out there, and I, I, I didn't know what to do. Why did you think they were going to kill your sons? Why, because I seen all five of them. It wasn't four. I seen five with my eyes. You, that in, your, in, your mind, in your mind, you thought there was five? In my mind, okay. I seen... Three on two, one on four. I mean, they was just switching up. So it was a lot of them. Powell on just on Travis until DJ decided to jump in to try to help to protect his brother. Were you kind of uh, in shock at this point? I was. I was terrified. I was scared. I was already thinking about my husband. That what had done happened to him with the violence and the junk gunshot. So I was. I was scared. When Travis came outside, did he have any weapons in his hand? Travis didn't have any weapons. When he heard that the the guy with the dreads, the long dreads with the high top, said that go back in the house, we come to handle this mall, we want Travis, we want Travis, that's when Travis came out. And then as soon as he came out, he was trying to say, before he even get a word out to the brother, that's when the guy with the shirt, with the tattoos, immediately jumped on him. And that's when all of them jumped on him. And did, did you said the guy with the shirt? The guy without the shirt with the tattoos. Okay. And where did that happen? What part of your home? It was in the front of my yard. Then it led into the front of my yard in the streets. Then it went to the side. And somehow Travis broke loose. And I'm seeing, like, different fights going on at one time. And I'm steady trying to tell him to please leave. Please leave. I have cameras around my house. The police going to be coming. Y'all just need to leave. And when Travis broke a loose, he went inside. And that's when he grabbed the gun. Did, and hold then, on. Let me slow you down. Did you see Travis actually break loose? 
No, I didn't see him because I was still trying to reasonable with all of them just to leave the house. So I didn't see him. When I seen him, when he did come out, that's when I ran towards him and said, no, Travis, no, come on, Travis, come on, Travis. Why would you do that? He, he said that they got my bra. They got my bra, man. They got DJ. My bra. They got my bra. That objection is uh the basis for that objection is, is denied. Why, why did, why, why, why did you, why were you grabbing Travis at that point? Because at the time I was trying to stop any FDS escalation for anything else because I actually thought that DJ, I didn't even know he was still in danger. You didn't know where he was at that point? I didn't know where he was. Did Travis point the gun at anybody? No, he did not point the gun at anybody. When, when I grabbed Travis and I said, no, Travis, no, he said, mom, they got my bra. Then I realized that my other son was in danger. And then I was with Travis at the time. And there was the guy with the shirt with the tattoos right beside me. I was in the middle and, and Travis was on the other side. And he said, mom, you need to go back in the house. And that's when I ran in the house. Did, did you see Travis trying to load the gun or? No. Do anything want to get it to work? No. Your knowledge is Travis practice at a shooting range and knows how to use his firearms? I know he has his permit, and I know he went to the shooting range, yes. Okay. But you didn't see him having any difficulty trying to load the gun or anything like that? No. The guy without the shirt on, do you remember if he was saying anything to Travis when he saw him with the firearm? I can't say what he was saying, but I know it was either I got this or you got this, and that's when Travis say. Go in the house, Ma, go in the house. And I ran into the house. And at the time I ran into the house, I was trying to call the police. I was very fearful for my life and my children's life. And then I was, you could see me on the phone trying to get into my phone to even call the police. Thank God I had neighbors that did call the police. Why, why I could, did you use the kitchen phone? You know what? I didn't even realize I still had the phone in my hand. When I ran into the house, that's when I realized that my phone was in my hand. I was trying to stop him to get the call and then travis came in and he said Hold on, let me slow you down so when you're outside and travis says they got my bro did you know what he was talking about he was talking about his, my son dj he said they got my bro like they got dj ma they got dj did you know where dj was at that time no you didn't see him no and before you went in the house could you see dj no All right, so you lost sight of him yes there, there's been some allegation mm -hmm. that someone may have pointed a gun at, at your sons before the actual shooting. Uh, are you able to say whether anyone pointed a gun at either one of your sons while you were out there? No, because it was so brow. It was going so fast. I was trying to de-escalate, so I can't say I seen the gun or anything. I don't know when my sons came back in the house. No, no I'm, I'm talking about at the, during the incident in the, back, in the yard before you went in the house. That's no, nice. no. All right. Could you say they didn't point guns at your sons? I can't say because there was a brawl between, I mean, I'm trying to de-escalate everything between each one of them. All right. Were you kind of totally in, out of your mind at this point? Yes. Did you see people use these, these strange men? Did you see them using fist and feet or just fist? I seen them using anything that's necessary to try to kill my son. I have bricks out there. I have everything out there that you can actually do bodily harm without even having a gun or anything. So I, I seen two of them, two fights going on at one time with a prowl of men. And where did the fight, did it, you said Travis, you didn't see when he went in the house, right? Only when he came out? Only when he came out. You know where he was before he went in the house or not really? No. How about DJ? Do you know where he went? No. So you kind of lost sight of everything. I got caused like sight of everything because I was, I mean, you. Sh it just happened so fast in a matter of seconds. Let me ask you this. Did you see any strange cars near your home at all? No. You don't know how these men got to your home or left your home, do you? No. So you go in your home. Do you hear anything after that? When I go in my home, I heard gunshots, and then my... Have you heard or no? It's too hard to tell. I can't tell. I was so free and scared and traumatized, I couldn't say. Are you crying? Yes. 
So after after the gunshots, you obviously can't see anything, right? How it happened or what happened? No, I didn't see anything. Okay. So you're in your home. What happens next? Then I was trying to get into my phone. I had my phone. My mind just went blank. I couldn't even think of my, because I have a security code on my phone. And immediately when Travis came in, he said, Ma, you all right? You all right? He so said, Travis comes in first? Travis comes in first. Did you have a gun with him? Yes, he had the gun. Right. And then he said, Ma, Ma, you okay? You okay? He said, I thought my life was gone. I thought my brother, my life was gone. These guys had guns pointed at us, and I thought our life was gone. And then DJ came right in after him. Down. Sorry, let me slow you down. How was Travis's demeanor? How was he? How was he talking to you? He was traumatized. We both, all of us, was just in fear for our life because we don't know. We didn't know if they had someone to come back or they'll come back and shoot the shit up just like Dominique instructed. Is, is Travis normally a calm, calm man? Yes. Normally. Yes. Did you ever see Travis get into fights in school? Never had a problem with any of my kids in school. Daryl either? No. So you said Daryl or DJ comes in next? Yes. Is he crying or what's his demeanor like? He was very, very, I mean, he was really worse than Travis because he thought his life was going to be taken. He said, Mama, they had guns pointed at me. I thought my life was going to be taken. And we all, like, traumatized. And I'm trying to call the police and... I couldn't get in my phone. I thank God for all of my neighbors that really, you know, because we have a very good neighborhood. Everybody's like a family around there. We have never had any problem like this. Okay. So when they called, you know, then I heard the sirens and I heard the police. So I know someone was coming there. When when, when Daryl came home and he said he had guns pointed at him, uh, what else did he tell you? Anything else? He said, Ma, I thought my life was going to be over. I thought we all was going to be gone. <laughs> did, he, did he give you any details about where the guns were or who was holding them or not not at that point? No. All right, how about how about Travis? Did he give you any details about the guns pointed at him? No, you just said I thought my life was going to be over. I seen all of them pointing a the gun at me, and I was trying to protect my brother, and I thought I just tried to just get them all away, and the threat to the threat is gone. Did he tell you that he shot at them? Actually, he, it's, it's like I know he shot at them because he didn't actually say that he shot at them, but I figured that he did because of the gun that he had and the gunshots that he had, you know, yes. Okay, you have some water there? You need any water? Uh -huh. Okay. And what what happened after that? Did, did, what, what did y'all do after this happened? Were you all in shock, or did you calm down, or what happened? We was in shock. Um, my heart was just running. I start. I, I relive this every day. I don't sleep. Um, this has affected me mentally, physically, financially, emotionally. Um, even with my health, I relive this every day. It just see this going on just to know that this girl portrayed and she deceived and not knowing that she was even married it just okay. it really hurt so while you're in the house is it, does your daughter come home yes your home rather yes are you expecting her yes because she went out to a party and she know i don't sleep at night and she told me that she was going to bring me my food so i could have it for the next morning and she know i'd be up so I, I was expecting her to come were you even thinking about her coming at this point or, or at the time i it i know i didn't i was so traumatized all right what did travis do with the firearm do you know uh i think he put it in his room on his closet shelf i'm not for sure but i know he did get out of sight you know why he did that? Did he tell you? Just for safety. You know, if he took the bullets out of the gun, would you? No. Do you remember how long before your daughter came? Hmm. They was at the party, so I say it could have been about a half an hour, maybe to forty-five minutes. Before your daughter came, did any of the police come knocking on your door, or, or were they outside yelling, "Come on out," or anything like that? That was after the fight. Okay. 
So before that, you just heard sirens and. Yes, I heard the sirens and the police. Did you hear? Did you hear a helicopter also whirling? And helicopters, correct. How about lights, like police lights. Did you see them strobing around? Yes. Through your windows. Well, actually, I didn't see them. I just heard. I just heard the sirens and the helicopters and the police. Why didn't you go outside during this time period? Why didn't you? I was so traumatized. Um, I, I was such in shock that I just couldn't believe it. And I didn't know if, even if I went outside, was I'm going to end up getting killed, killed or oh, shot. By the police, possibly. Yes. So did the three of you wait inside the living room area most of the time? Yes. And when your daughter came over, did she come with anybody? She came with my son-in-law, Johnny. Okay. And see an ex-FBI agent? Yes. And did, did anyone, did, well, not anyone, but did Travis ask your daughter to hide any evidence or take anything? No. Did you ever see your son's phone at all that night? No. You don't know what happened earlier in the night with his phone, possibly? No. All right. Um, so Tierney gives you the food, and does she basically leave? Yes. And did the police at that point come to you or knock on your door and say, come on out? Yes. All right. Before before that happened, um, did anyone stop Tierney from coming in your house? Did anyone stop my daughter from coming in my house? Yeah. No. How about when they left? You, you don't know what happened to them personally. I don't know what personally happened to them until later. Okay. All right, so eventually the, the police come to your to your door? Yes. Tell us what happens. What do you remember? Well, I heard them. Um, um, they must be at a speaker and said that, Travis Rudolph, we need you to come out with your hands up. And then following out the Travis, they want anybody that was in the home to come out with their hands up. All right, hold on. Let me slow you down. Did Travis go outside? Yes. Did he comply with what they told him? Yes. Did you see him outside, or you just you couldn't see what he was doing? I couldn't see until after I stopped coming out. All right, so Travis went out first. Yes. And how many police were there? Were there many police officers? Uh, when I came out, it was surrounded with police officers and dogs, and it was a lot of them. How many would you estimate? Uh, I could say about at least 10 or 15. And you said there was more than one dog, multiple dogs? I don't know how many dogs. I just know it was a dog out there. What was the dog doing? I guess he was trying to know if he run just to go attack him. Right, but was the dog barking or growling or quiet? He was, you know it was a dog. I can't say actually what he was doing because at the time I was so <sighs> scared and I just know it was a dog. Did you have guns pointed at you? I had a flashlight. I don't know about with Travis, but I had forgot I had my phone in my hand. So... I had my hand up with the phone in my hand, and as I was going out, it was a bright light, and I said, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. And that's when I came and seen a lot of police that was around me. Okay. Did you see Travis in handcuffs? Yes. Did you see where they took Travis? They put him down in the police car almost about three or four houses away from my house. Were you able to talk to him anymore? Actually, I really couldn't talk to him because they had already had him locked up in the car. Right. Did you believe he was arrested right away? Oh, he was arrested right away because he had handcuffs on him. And put in the car? In the car. Okay. Back of a police car? Yes. Was he handcuffed behind his back? I, I can't tell because I wasn't able to get to the car. I was, like, nearby the car, but I couldn't see in the car. All I know, he was handcuffed. I seen his hand that was cuffed. How about you? Were you handcuffed? No. How about uh, DJ or Darrow? No. All right, so when you're, out, when you're outside and you see all this, uh, all these police officers, obviously you're scared, right? Yes. The whole night since you got home, you were scared. Yes. you know what time it was in the morning when, this, when the police were there or not really? Uh, it had to be about close to one something maybe. Maybe a little after. Is that a guess? That's a guess. All right. Did there come a time when you went outside where the police asked you any questions or tried to ask you any questions? No, because I uh, I think one policeman said something, and I said, I 
I'm not going to speak to anyone until I have my lawyer. Do you remember who that was? I don't remember. Was it a female? No, it was a male. Did any female police officers give you a business card and say, call us tomorrow or the next day when you have your lawyer, a week later or a month later? I don't recall and I don't remember. I just remember talking to a, a, a man police officer when I was out there near Travis' vehicle by the car. Did you tell the police officer anything about what Travis's defense was? Well, when I was talking to the male police officer, I said that this was self-defense and I'm not speaking to anybody until I have my lawyer. Why, why didn't you talk to the police? Because I was told not to talk to him, but when he came up, I was so afraid and traumatized that I was like, this is self-defense. I said, I can't talk right now until I have my lawyer. All right. Um, will you advise that you're going to possibly get subpoenaed and have to go give a statement right away? No, I didn't tell, no one said anything to me. All right. Well, why didn't you call the police a day later or a month later and say, or a week later, any, any time and say, hey, this is what really happened from my perspective. Why didn't you do that? I didn't call the police because I was waiting for my lawyer and I was waiting for them to actually call me. You're waiting for the police to call you? Correct. They never did? No. Did you trust the police after they arrested your son right away? Well, I don't say that I don't trust. There are some good policemen and bad policemen, but the way the situation happened, no, I did not trust them. Why? Because I felt that they didn't do no investigation to see what really happened. And with my, with my son being taken and not knowing what the full facts were, I was afraid, even for my other son, that he would have been locked up as well. Okay. So it was not a good situation. Right? Right. You thought that Daryl would possibly get arrested by the same police? Yes. Okay, I tend to the witness. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, need a break of any kind before we get into cross-examination? Apparently not. Okay, who's going to handle cross-examination? All right, Ms. Ellis, go ahead. <clears throat> 